So yes, forms and surveys, we've talked about it in our channel before, but now the technology has changed because AI is added into the form creation process and that makes things so easy and that's what we're going to be talking about today hey what up decisive marketers we're going to be talking about make forms where you can use ai to generate an entire form or survey for you and that cuts down a lot of your time to create these surveys and forms right so before i dive into make forms be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here we go so here we are in make forms uh, i'm actually quite um, excited about this one because we are talking about um, you you can change like the first thing is you know you can change multiple workspaces you can create multiple workspaces and switch between them right just you know create a brand new workspace and every single workspace uh, has its own settings right so you can set the uh, you know the individual branding of each uh, workspace right and uh, you know integrations and everything um yep right and and you know you can have all the individual settings uh you know custom domains um and everything here right so we going to jump into creating a brand new form so creating a form right you can choose between the standard uh form where you have a uh one single page or multi page but it's like those uh, kind of application forms that you see uh, where all the questions are on one uh, on on multiple either one or multiple pages uh, or you can have the type form style of form where it's one f question at a time right so uh, and then once you select the one that you, you want you can then create from scratch or just use AI to create what you want and I have created one right here where I have about 11 questions here uh, and this is called in uh, I, I just entered the title called informal caregiving survey and it generated all these questions right so we're going to check it out uh, one by one right so we have name uh, and then phone number email these are all pretty standard uh address probably that's not required but relationship to care recipient right so this is definitely very useful and it gives me all the values right here let me just kind of move my camera over if you look here on the bottom right values right so you have spouse children uh sibling parent other right so everything is all in there and then the next one is that you have a uh, number of hours spent per week and then you know you can put in the the value right here and do you have any formal training in caregiving right uh and then you can have uh what are your biggest biggest challenge you face as a caregiver all right and then are you satisfied with the support right so it's you know it's it's kind of there it's not uh, you know comp uh, it's not deep enough of course uh, but it, it it understands what I am what I require and uh, you know it, it kind of puts uh, gives you a, a starting point to work with right uh, I think that's what is important rather than staring at a blank form uh, not knowing what to do right so firstly uh, let's kind of check out what kind of questions or what kind of fields can we ask for right we can have a name address email phone number URL uh, number number drop down uh, slider uh, calculate the few date picker time picker calendly right rating like a skill net promoter score metrics right drop down single choice multiple choice uh, like dislike legal co consent gdpr agreement uh, input field text area paragraph text uh, <coughs> you know open ai file upload e-signature uh, location and question group right so one thing that we can see here so far is that they do have some kind of integration with like Calendly uh, there's an e-signature function which I think is very useful and then we got open AI as well I don't really know what that is for but you know let's click on it and check it out 
Okay, so what happens is it says that these components allows you to send requests to OpenAI API and show the completion response in thank you screen, right? So that means you can put in your API uh, key from OpenAI right here, and then it generates like something for you, right? It generates uh, an output for you uh, to kind of add in to the thank you screen, right? So you use this... Uh, uh you know as a thank you page i would think so okay all right uh yep okay so uh so so uh, another thing is that the form is uh it it how it works is that you have a welcome screen and then a form and then a thank you page right here so you can uh so that means in the welcome screen you can choose these uh you know options right paragraph text image divider spacer video cta layout so you can actually add a video in 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 the uh welcome page as well and then you got your thank you page which you have you can have a calculated view so uh let's see so you can add a formula right here Okay, so, so what happens is that you can uh, use the answers that you have over here, like if it's a number answer, you can use the calculator field, create a formula that you want, right, like maybe 45 times one of this field, uh, and then you get the, um, you know, answer as the calculator field so this is useful uh in the sense that if you are trying to get a uh you know put in a, a calculation uh so you can use this as a calculator maybe you are calculating for um some kind of uh, uh you know maybe like calculating your net worth or something like that right input this input that and then it generates the uh, answer for you so you can use uh, this form to do to do this right so I think this is very useful so if you're trying to create some kind of a uh, tax savings calculator whatever it is this is going to really help you okay so uh, so next uh, so this is the thank you let's check out what else we have here so of course we can have a video uh, and everything right and then you got your payment status uh, right here um, so I guess this is for payment um, so that means uh, with MCFORM right you can accept payment but I am not sure if this is uh, possible yet let me just kind of take a look here it might not be ready yet for payment oh so i can enable payment let's see okay so enable payment and then we can have payment status right so your payment was successful okay let's check out forms as well maybe there's a payment uh, option here okay so uh one thing we know is that they can accept payments uh but i guess uh, what happens is that after the form you submit before it goes to the thank you page uh you know it's going to have a payment and then you will reach the payment uh i mean you reach the thank you page and then you can have an enable payment uh view over here the status right uh kyc so let's see what this is okay kyc i mean it should be like know your customer so um let me see if i can take a look at their Okay, maybe let's let's check out uh make forms and see what the uh you know this KYC feature is for. Because this is the first time I've come across this uh KYC which seems very interesting. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, maybe let's search for this. Okay, KYC form. Let's check this out, right? KYC form. So it helps business collect customer information for account opening. Okay. Sensitive data, maybe it's that. Okay, I can't really find much information on the KYC function, or at least even when I search it on Bing, it doesn't say much as to what it does. Yep, it doesn't say much of what it does. Okay, let's see. It's uh, it does say something over here. Maybe let's check it out. All right, so KYC. So nothing here. No. Yep, it doesn't say much right here at the moment. So, I mean, there's this uh, KYC verification. Um, let me just kind of take a look at what it is. Oh, okay. Okay, so what happens is that there is a kind of a facial recognition to ensure that the person submitting the form is the actual person. So that's kind of what it does with the, uh, you know, KYC uh, feature. Okay, so you can enable KYC if you want that. Uh, and it, it will save and continue so you can pause on the form and come back to it later on. Uh, enable quiz and you, you can show a score if it's a quiz. And then the, uh, of course, your autoresponder and all that. Okay, so, uh, so screens, uh, let me see. So you can add, you know, like a uh, logo on top of everything. Okay, and then you can choose the layout of how the form should look like. Okay, and then uh, you can add conditional logic as well. Uh, right, so you can set up all the conditional logic right here. Okay, so next we can jump into design. Uh, so this is kind of how it looks like. You can customize the colors and the fonts that you'll be using. Okay and what language you want it to be if you want you can enable other languages so okay so we can publish the forms okay let me just kind of jump back in and turn off the settings for payments okay so let's publish it okay and then we can jump into sources Okay, so over here we can then <coughs> copy the uh, link and share this out or via QR code. Right, and embed form on email for one, okay, SMS. Okay, 
result okay so we can look at the entire result over here you know it's kind of like a data table right here where you can then uh, you know probably export the data from here right so like a, you can choose like a BI view as well right or just a simple view or a summary view and then you get uh, you know everything right here which is also very nice um, okay let's jump back into the forms okay and then you can jump into integrations so you can integrate your form with other uh, tools right here so you can see Zapier, Google Sheets, uh, Elastic Email, SendGrid, blah blah blah, right, Moosend, Brevo, Mic and everything okay so uh, that is also webhooks okay um, I don't I don't see it here but that is webhooks um, if you go to settings for your workspace okay you can click on webhooks and then you can add a webhook right here okay so uh, so you can choose the form that you'll be using and then it will send the data to a particular endpoint so you can of course then create uh, I mean you can connect to like Pebbly connect or whatever it is right here right so you just put in the name and the value right and everything okay or you can just send the uh, clean test data right here and then map everything nicely okay so this is uh, via JSON format um, so let's see so pretty much I guess that is all uh, let's check out like campaigns and all that let's see what campaigns are Okay, so you can upload your contacts and what's the next thing? Okay, see how to use this. Okay, I'm just gonna upload this the same thing back just to see what the uh campaign feature does right okay next okay next okay so I guess this is more like you sending out an email to all the participants to join and fill up the survey um, so it's it's a sort of like an email blast to all of them okay so and then you can schedule the campaign after it let's see okay and then it's now sent right so that's kind of how it works it's pretty much uh, like a like a blast uh, email blast right and then um and then uh i y you know you get a limit of uh, email sends over here right so so i think the good thing about make forms is that it builds in that email blast feature for you so that's actually very nice and then uh you can export data from here you can add additional fonts uh, to your form, to your form, if you want that, right? Your custom domains. You can add more members. Uh, right settings. We've been there already. Let's check out what workflow is. Okay. So this form and what happens? What can I do? Let's take a look. Okay, I can add element here. But what element can I add? Let me see.
Okay, I think that this might not be a ready feature yet. Oh, okay, I saw what 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 is happening now. Let me just kind of jump back in. I saw the elements now. It's all on the left. Okay, so I can put say uh, you know, uh, once a response comes in, I can say I want to notify people. Okay. Right, see, I want to notify a bunch of people, right? I can put in their emails, okay, in there, right? Or I can then uh, send an email to someone or do a webhook, right? Send a webhook. I can have a logical uh, if else, if or, I mean, right? So let's see, I want to delete this. So it, it becomes like uh, some kind of automation tool right here, which is pretty cool, right? It's not like just a form tool. So I can have a left right condition like this as well. I can send form, right? Wait uh, and all that, right? So it becomes like some kind of automation tool as well. So it's pretty powerful, I would say, uh, in this sense. Okay. Uh, and then let's check out what Vault is. Let's click on create API vault. Um, so I guess you can save certain, uh, you know, your 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 web hooks uh, or, or API in here, so that I guess it's easier for you when you need to, you know, connect your forms to some other tools, right? So I guess. That's all I have to share. Let me just kind of take a look. Yep. So I guess pretty much that's all I have to share about make forms. I think that this is quite a powerful solution in the sense that, you know, they have a email blast function. They have uh, multiple workspaces that is uh, divided very, very cleanly. They've got a workflow function and then they have a very nice vault for you to kind of uh, save all your, you know, all your webhooks and API endpoints and you also have the BI uh, kind of uh, UI for you to organize your data right or process your data uh, of you know your, your responses from the forms so I think this is actually a very very powerful tool and you know I think it's going at a very very affordable price right now it's um, I think it's, it's very worth it <laughs> if you were to ask me and the cool thing is that you when you sign up for make forms as well you can choose between a US server or a EU server I have chosen EU uh, you can go with uh, US if you want to uh, you can also choose Asia which they are going to be adding on very soon as another data center right so you can save your data to the closest uh, you know place that you uh, that you want to process the data from right so I guess that's all I have to share about make forms I think it's a very very powerful tool uh, you know I think that everyone who don't have a form today you should definitely consider make forms right and that's all I have to share about make forms if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about make forms in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who can benefit from this be sure to share this video with them I'll see you in my next video bye bye